Uh, tell me a little bit about that process and how you guys do prepare to interview, uh, to answer interviewers' questions. Again, um, when we take that information, that is based upon making sure we provide accurate and transparent information to the public. But again, Mr. McNair's press conference today is really a desperate act upon his campaign to distract the citizens from the true issues in the mayor's race. The city is looking for leadership that focuses on safe and strong neighborhoods, economic development, and also we're looking for a mayor who's in touch with the city of Toledo's citizens and their businesses. And Joe McNamara's efforts just really reflect that his campaign is deteriorating, that he really has no policy or plan for the city of Toledo, and his campaign's coming to an end, and he recognizes that. So we really want to focus on the true issues facing the citizens and businesses of the city of Toledo. I'm that candidate that has a solid plan uh, for the city's future, uh, for economic development. We need soft and we need safe and strong neighborhoods, and we also need a mayor who has experience and also can create a government that works for the people. So again, we really look forward to debating all the candidates. Uh, once all the candidates have filed their petitions officially in July, then we'll really know who all our candidates are. And I look forward to that debate. I look forward to talking about the issues. But for right now, I think it's truly a desperate act on Joe McNamara. His campaign is falling apart, and we know that. And we look forward to debating all the candidates. Now, one of the things that he brought up today specifically was that he asked to interview you, or I'm um, not interview, to debate you last week and that you declined. And again, uh, I look forward to debating all the candidates. Uh, Why not right now though? Again, I'm, if, if all the candidates want to debate right now, I'd be more than happy to debate right now. But again, citizens have a choice and there's many candidates and I want every citizen to know that whether they're Republican, whether they're independent, whether they're Democrat, I want to be their mayor. And as a Democrat, I will represent all of them well. I will have a solid plan for economic development. I will bring safe and strong neighborhoods to the city of Toledo. I have a track record of making government work for the people. And I also am in touch with the citizens and businesses that live and work in the city of Toledo. Again, I am happy to debate all the candidates. But again, I think this is a desperate act on Joe McNamara's campaign. Uh, they have no real message. They have no real plan to turn the city of Toledo around. And he's trying to get attention in any way possible. Now, I do want to, uh, what his press conference was about today was basically to make these accusations. So I do want uh, kind of a direct, a direct response to those accusations. Um, specifically about, I'll start with, with the media interview form. Um, and can you confirm that that is something that you guys do use to, uh, to aid you guys in uh, answering questions? Anytime there is a public request of information, we document the process to make sure uh, under the Freedom of Information Act that all questions are responded to in a timely manner. Uh, the auditor's office deals with thousands of transactions, millions and millions of dollars, uh, payroll records, uh, real estate records, value of property records. So again, uh, it's not something you want to take lightly and you really want to hold your workforce accountable. So again, I truly believe that this is a desperate act upon uh, the McNamara's campaign not having any true message or solutions to turning the city of Toledo around. Uh, anyone knowledgeable with the auditor's office, accuracy is very important and how we respond particularly to the public and to the media such as yourself is very important. And as you see, uh, there's no script in front of me. And uh, again, this is truly uh, a ploy by the McNamara's campaign uh, to distract citizens from the real issues. And the real issue is that Joe McNamara's campaign has no true message on how to create economic development, has no true message on how to create safe and strong neighborhoods, has no true plan to how to turn the government around to make it work for the people, and I do. And that's why they're truly desperate in making these uh, allegations. Now, one of the other big points that 
that he or statements that he made today was that in order to accomplish this task of facilitating information and writing these scripts, as he called, uh, that you've been using staffers in the auditor's office to get that done uh, apart from their normal job. How would you respond to, uh, to that? And again, I think the McNamara campaign has no true message. This is a desperate act on their part to distract citizens. Citizens know me. I have a track record in the auditor's office. They know I will make government work for the people. They know that I'm in touch with the citizens of Toledo and their businesses. We have uh, a strong message and we'll deliver that on how to create economic development. We will bring safe and strong neighborhoods to the city of Toledo. And again, uh, unfortunately, McNamara is clearly desperate and anything to distract voters from the true issues is what he's trying to do. And the fact of the matter is, is that the McNamara campaign is not moving forward and the Lopez campaign is. Um, just in response to that, just so you can clear what, what he just what he did say, uh, who is it exactly that is writing these scripts or and taking the, this information? Again, as you see, the person interviewing uh, me is hearing me speak. And you're hearing me speak from my heart and my dedication to public service. Again, I've been an elected official since 2001. I have a track record of making government work for the people. I have a track record of being in touch with the citizens and businesses that I serve. And I have a track record of looking out for the interests of citizens. I will bring strong and safe neighborhoods. I will bring economic development that works. And again, I'm a candidate for the people. And I think he knows that, and that's why he's attempting these desperate, desperate attacks. The very last thing I want to ask you, uh, when it does come to a debate, uh, when do you do you have an idea of when you would like to start debating? Again, once we uh, realize who all the official candidates are and they file their petition successfully, I am more than willing and excited to vigorously debate all the issues facing the city of Toledo, and I look forward to that. But again, I think uh, McNamara's desperate attempt to distract citizens is really what's at issue today. So it seems like you'd rather debate everybody than just just one person. Correct. I, I think it, it is so important that a debate occurs with all the candidates. And again, I look forward to that. Um, and I look forward to sharing my ideas and thoughts on how to create economic development, safe and strong neighborhoods, a government that works for the people, and my track record of working with citizens and businesses and being in touch with them. And again, unfortunately, I think there is no vision and no plan for Joe McNamara. And this is a desperate attempt as he sees his campaign derailing as my campaign is picking up speed.